Hey, Tim Ria here, Digital Health Live Day 2. We just had an awesome panel on the DNA economy, and I'm here with uh, Dave Daly, who's the head of Oncology and Medical Sciences for Life Technologies, and also a big sponsor. <laughs> it's great to be here. Appreciate it. So we saw you at CES yes. on the panel with Ariana Huffington and a number of folks there, Sonny Vu, and now we were uh, had a really interesting DNA panel today. What was going on? Well, we're really talking about how D the DNA economy, all about identifying abnormalities in DNA, and then the ability to match up those abnormalities with actionable uh, components, whether those are therapeutics, clinical trials, or the like. As we transition uh, life technologies from being purely a life science and research organization to really being in the clinic, being part of that physician-patient moment, it, it really is all about taking this rich data source and all the knowledge we have and synthesizing it into something that's actionable to have a positive impact on patient care. Now Ronnie Andrews has shown me the DNA chip, so for people who don't know life technologies, what do you guys do? We are a, uh, a traditionally a life sciences tool company where we develop uh, diagnostic instrumentation that's used for discovery uh, in, in my case in oncology where we are looking at genetic information okay. to help understand abnormalities and then work with drug companies to develop therapeutics to work against those abnormalities and assist patients. Uh, in, in, in other areas uh, we use genetics uh, in crime scene investigations and in forensics. Uh, we use genetics in areas of food safety and water safety. Wow. So there's a whole host of applications for genetic information and we are spanning all of those different applications. So what was going on inside and what were some of the hot points? Well, what was interesting is, is uh, uh, Samir, my, uh, my partner, talking about health and wellness. And you're seeing a lot of genetic analysis being used to look at our general makeup and what propensity do we have for particular ailments, whether it's diabetes or heart disease or even cancer. And then going through lifestyle changes to have a positive impact on our healthcare. And then my portion really focused in on once you have a disease like cancer, how is genetics or DNA being used to characterize tumors? And then as I said before, once you have them characterized, matching them up to therapeutics that can be used to positively impact outcomes. Because today, one of the quotes uh, that we used is, 15% uh, of our GDP is spent on healthcare, about $2.5 trillion. Yeah. But 30% of that is of little use. I mean, that could pay for everybody's college. <laughs> it, it very much could. And if we focused more on the delivery of actionable information, yeah. we would really have a dramatic impact on that waste. But more importantly, the dollars we do spend would be making a difference. Wow. What excites you? Well, my dad, uh, my dad died of metastatic colon cancer 15 years ago, and if you've watched a healthy person go from being, uh, uh, you know, six foot, uh, uh, 185 pounds to six foot and, you know, 120 pounds over the course of two years due to chemotherapy, and you've held their hands while they've been infused with chemotherapy, you recognize that there's got to be a better way to, to treat and manage this horrible disease. And what gets us motivated is most of us have been touched by the disease of cancer. So every day we come to work, we're trying to find that key that unlocks the mystery to this disease so others don't have to go through what people like me and others who have lost loved ones to this disease or had the disease themselves. How can we take cancer from a deadly disease to a chronic disorder and then hopefully at some point truly find a cure for the disease? That's what gets us motivated. Where are we at in the timeline, first grade, college, in, in, in this puzzle? Well, that's really hard to say because it, 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 cancer is a systems biology disease. It, it, it's a lot like the road system from Los Angeles to San Diego. When you block one road, there's so many other ways to get there. And, and tumor growth is a lot like that. Once you understand one pathway, you've understood one pathway, another mechanism of action pops up. So as we're characterizing cancer, the big advances today are 
it's no longer just breast cancer or colon cancer or lung cancer. They're characterized by pathways that are activated, and those pathways are common to all different types of cancers. So our ability today to tackle cancer more holistically from a pathway perspective is coming into much clearer view and focus. Interesting. What's next up for you? For me personally or yeah. for the company? Well, for me, it's to continue this fight against cancer and, and to work with my colleagues at Life Technologies to really make that move from research and academics to the clinic, where, again, we, we're impacting that physician-patient interaction. And, and for the organization, it's really, again, the same thing, helping to transform this disease of cancer from a deadly disease to a chronic disorder. One of our goals uh, in, within our group is to touch one million lives by 2020. So we are out there actively having an impact in uh, the disease of cancer and really wanting to touch those million lives as soon as we can. Well, that's fabulous, Dave. Really appreciate your time Absolutely. and good to see you again. It's good to see you. Thank you very much.